The Del Oro Beak presents the Dio Sports Report with Tucker Fader and AJ Newby. Hey Eagles, this is the Del Oro Sports Report. I'm Tucker Fader. And I'm AJ Newby. Let's get started with girls volleyball. The girls beat Wood Creek 3-1 on Tuesday in the SFL finale. They finished the regular season with an 18-10 overall record and will most likely be moving on to the playoffs in the upcoming week. Well, it should be a good playoff run. Let's move on to girls tennis. The girls won their first round of playoffs against Rosemont 9-0 on Monday and continued to dominate in a 6-3 win against Vanden on Tuesday. They will go on to play at Bella Vista next Monday for the quarterfinals. All right, good luck, girls. Girls water polo just finished off an undefeated regular season and are looking to extend their string of victories into the playoffs starting this Friday against Casa Roble. They finished with a 23-6 overall record, but they went 12-0 in the league, and hopefully they will continue their success. Well, last Friday was the homecoming football game, and Del Oro dominated as they have all season. The game was highlighted by Bobby Hetherington's passing game. With a solid 78% completion rate and a 217-yard total, Bobby and the Eagles rolled over Roseville's defense. The Eagles' defense was also dominant as they picked off two passes from Roseville quarterback Zach Cunha and recovered a, recovered a fumble as well. The final score was 45-20. to 20. Certainly was a game to remember. Football has their next game against Wood Creek on Friday, and if they come up with another victory, they will win league for the second consecutive year. They will then move into the playoffs and most likely will play in the D3 bracket. That about does it for today. For The Beak, I'm Tucker Fader. And I'm AJ Newby. Stay fly, Del Oro. The Del Oro Beak presents the DO Sports Report with Tucker Fader and AJ Newby. Da -da 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 -da